looks like someone's had too much fun and uh, stranded the Land Rover on uh, a bit of a ditch. Wheels are completely stuck. Actually, you can see the um, the suspension's failed on it here. How high up are we? see the tracks on the way up all the way up and from the bottom we thought it's just someone that was um, a farmer maybe just out on his land but no <laughs> someone's grounded themselves Afternoon everyone, you've joined me on a very windy fell in the far north of the Lake District and today I've traded in my tent for a night in Lingi Hut. So Lingi Hut is a bothy that is one of three in the Lake District. It's part of the Mountain Bothies Association and it is basically a small six by four metre shed pitched up on the fells in the northern Lake District. I would say a push maximum amount of people that you can get in here is around five people but that's a really tight squeeze today i'm sharing it with andy and we've come out here to escape a bit of this wind and uh, enjoy a night in a boffy so this is your general housekeeping area you got a shovel for toilet use outside Got a couple of brushes and a couple of benches down there. The kitchen area where you do all your cooking. Nice bit of a metal safeguard in there so you don't set the walls on fire. A couple of candle holders next to the window. Andy's claimed this side and I've claimed this side but I've not got anything out yet. Behind the door there's a coat hooks and stuff so you can put your wet coats on it if you were soaking wet and escaping the rain. But yeah, Andy says he's seen pictures of people in here, five or six people. Yeah. I think that'd be a bit of a tight squeeze for myself, but... Yeah, so you two over there, one here, one here, and one on the floor. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze, that, isn't it? <laughs> Who's drawn the short straw on the floor? Well, needs must, you'd have to. And uh, I've traded in my thermorest this week, and I've brought with me... Piece of grass. I had to feel a bit flappy in the wind light, but uh, I've brought this lovely... <laughs> Grass mat with me. Shove your firm rest up your ass.
Firmware NXT, one of the very first ones. So it's a little bit different, different nozzle on it. But this is actually the first ones are actually only like 80 grams heavier than the Uber Light, so it's a very lightweight mat. Best for quilt again today. Should be perfect for this kind of camping. come outside oh it's biting wind terribly biting wind so I've come out to get the last little bit of light sun is setting in the west over there and hopefully it should rise right down the valley and shine into the window of the boffy from the east in the morning so what we're going to do in the next half an hour, once the sun goes down, is we'll start cooking some food. We've both brought um, cooking kits with us today, so we're going to be cooking proper meals, prepping them here. We thought, why not? Why we've got the luxury of the the boffy, and we're out of the wind. So Andy's going to be cooking on um, <laughs> his big wok. <laughs> I keep calling it a wok, but it's just like a, a nice griddle pan, um, and I'm going to be cooking with the alcohol stove. So, want to be fast cooking, want to be slow cooking. <laughs> that uh, fell in the distance, you can't really see it now, it's covered by cloud, is Blencafra. And then behind this fell here, which you can't see, will be Skidor. And we've come up from the east, behind the other side of Lingy Hut. The sky is pretty blue above us, but chances of it clearing for a sunset are slim, and as well as that. The sun's actually going to set beyond the other way. Something else that I noticed on, on the actual side is it's got a marker for the Cumbria Way. So anyone that's doing the Cumbria Way, the section from Keswick to Carlisle, you'll actually come past this boffy, right past it, the path goes right beside it. So anyone that wants to do the Cumbria Way or is thinking about doing it, this could potentially be one of your stop-off points. Um, somewhere that you could dry your kit if you was caught out in the rain or you just needed a day where you were just out the wind and rain and the elements. Cheers. Boom. Steak for heaters. It's so cold, <laughs> freezing cold. I'm glad that we're in the uh, in the boffy tonight. But we're not out in the tents because that wind is just numbing. Originally, the hut was used by miners at Carrick Mine in the valley below here, where they excavated lead, arsenic, and tungsten. Following closure of the mine, the hut was brought up to its present location for use as a shelter for the grouse shooters. During the 1960s, it was used as an outdoor education base by the Friends Quarter School of Wigton. 
Unfortunately, it became in need of repair and the Lake District National Park took responsibility. In 2017, the Mountain Bodies Association were asked to take over care of the hut. Volunteers reclad both of the inside and outside walls, replaced the door and window, constructed the bench, seating and cooking shelf. Most recently, it has been painted on the interior. We have tried to make it a pleasant place for you to lunch or spend the night. Please re respect the body and enjoy your stay.